deep in the furnace of a dying star. Eons of fusion have created iron, and as the nuclear furnace is cooled, a sudden and violent explosion spread the iron across the cosmos. Over the next few billion years, these heavier elements accreted into this place that we call the Earth. Time passes, and humans discover this iron deep in the Earth, and discover its mystical properties. They discover ways of forging this iron, and create one of mankind's greatest inventions, the truck stop knife. This is where the story of iron ends, and my story begins. This is JJ Jinx Truck Stop Knives! JJ Jinx Truck Stop Knives! The long awaited package has arrived. I'm going to tell you the story of why this is so late. It was supposed to get here Friday, uh, it's Monday, but. It goes back a little further. And I'm going to tell the story because um, I did have to contact customer service at Bud K. It's the second time that I've had to do so. And I came out of it with a positive experiment, experiment, positive experiment, experience. And uh, basically the first time, which was a long time ago, like 2015 or something like that. Um, I ordered a knife and they sent me the wrong one not a big deal. Uh, they sent me a form to fill out. I sent it back to them and they told me, well, the one that I wanted is out of stock. It was a kissing crane St. Patrick's Day knife that I wanted. This was back before I had any kissing crane knives, but I've been looking at them and I thought they looked pretty nice. And it was like, oh, it's not that expensive. Let me get one. Um, I'm kind of glad in a way that I didn't because those trappers, it was a trapper, by the way, they're all kind of the same. They just changed the colors a lot, but anyway, um, so then I basically had them credit my, uh, give me store credit. I was like, I'm going to spend it on you anyway. <laughs> um, so that was my first experience with them. And then with, with this package, I wanted it for Friday because of my live video and anyway, um, what happened was I got the shipping, not the ship, eh, let me back up. I'm, I'm excited. Uh, I got the order confirmation. So the order was placed on their website. And then normally within a day or two at most, you get a shipping confirmation. And I paid extra to get it here faster, but I never got the shipping confirmation. So like on the third day, I called them up and they told me, oh, your card was declined. And I thought, that's weird. Um, okay, I was never notified. That was their one failing. Like I had no idea it was declined. Usually if there's an issue, you don't even get to the checkout stage, right? But anyway, so I, I had them just replace the order right there on the phone, gave them my card number, and they confirmed on the spot. It went through. We'll have it sent out tomorrow. And then something happened. Well, we had like this big Arctic storm across the country, and and uh, it slowed it all down. So anyway, um, oh. And the reason why it was a good experience was because then they decided, don't worry about it, we'll send it out and won't charge you for the shipping. So I got expedited, expedited shipping uh, and they, they ate the money. So anyway, to open this package, I'm going to use this knife. It's kind of a weird looking knife. This is made by San Renmu, Renmu? San Renmu. Uh, which is a Chinese company, and they make these, these knives are actually pretty cool and solid. They make all kinds of weird stuff, and this is kind of a funky one. Um, the model is 7046LTX-LPR-T3 Triangle 06. Um, oof, their, their names are a doozy, and um, well, this one happens to have what's called a chisel grind and it's made for like scraping things up and and they, they sort of went with a utility utilitarian kind of thing with this knife where they got this like wrench thing that's bolted in 
and then they got like these neat slots cut out so you can see the brass colored liners. Uh, I like the color scheme. They also made one that's like red. I, I think it was red and brass, kind of like an Iron Man look. But I, w I opted for this one. And it's got a glass breaker and a lanyard slot here, but also one here. So it's like, wait, I got both? Well, okay. Um, it's a very smooth op um, mechanism, too. It's like this thing really flies. Uh, I haven't taken it apart, but I can see that it's not Teflon. It looks like brass washers. I doubt that it's phosphor bronze because this thing was like 10 or $12. And then that's kind of a step way up for a knife that cheap. And you can move the pocket clip um, up here or keep it down here, um, but only on this one side. Anyway, let's dive right in. Now... In true J.J. Jinks fashion, I forgot a lot of what is in this box. Um, but I remember a couple of the things I ordered, and there is uh, a mystery package for sure. So, let's get the paper over with, and... Uh, catalog. Let's see what's on the catalog. This is the... Um, Midnight Madness 2018. So this is an older catalog. It looks like it's from last year. I actually have a newer one that I got in the mail. Maybe I'll go through it on a video because I've had a request for that in the past. Here's the paper. Okay, I have a box in the box. And some other stuff. Okay, <laughs> I'm going to start with this one and go from there. This is... The Mountain Man. A boot knife and leather sheath. This knife was like $5. And the reason I got it was because this is a knife that I've seen on their website perpetually. They've had it available for years. And it's always been cheap. And so at this point, it's sort of become Bud K. Anna. <laughs> and... and um, I was like, you know what's going to happen is one day they're going to run out of them and I'm going to be sad I didn't get one. Uh, the box is surprisingly good. This is not like the cheap fall apart cardboard and the picture's nice. Um, specs on the back, four and three quarter inch OS six stainless steel blade, hardwood handle, leather belt sheath, seven and a half inches overall. It is a fixed blade and it's got kind of a wide handle and a picture of Someone, I'm not exactly sure what I'm looking at. Let's look at it on the knife itself. I'm hoping it's like a burly man with a big beard, like a Tolstoy. <laughs> but I, I'm not sure. And it comes in a plastic bag with a really rough looking plastic knife condom. I think, oh gosh, it just fell right off. Yeah, they didn't really spend a lot on this thing. It's got like pieces of plastic hanging off of it, but... Whatever, you just throw it away. Here's the blade, made in Pakistan. Uh, the image. I still don't know what it is, but it says Mountain Man on there. And what the hell is that? I guess it's... It, oh, okay. It's a guy with like a big bushy hat and something sticking out of it. <laughs> Maybe that's what mountain men in Pakistan look like. It's not what I pictured. This sheath is a piece of shit. <laughs> I don't even know if it's leather. It's, it's pretty rough around the edges, but it's not rusted. Like I've seen a lot of these kinds of things. Yeah, if you look in there, it's like laminated with some kind of white stuff. Uh, looking at the knife handle, I can see they must have, I don't know, caught a little bit of bark or something or a knot. It's probably just a knot. Yeah. And then it's got this little brass piece on the, the bottom so you can 
hammer or crush things, I guess. Uh, I'm not disappointed with this purchase because, like I said, it's just a part of Bud Cade's Um, I don't know the word I'm looking for. Culture? <laughs> Some kind of uh, oh, piece of history, maybe, someday. Unless they have like 10 million of these hanging out in their warehouse. So that is the Mountain Man knife. It's probably not sharp at all. I didn't even check. Okay. Um, not entirely sure what's in this box. But I have an idea. I, I do know that I ordered something that might be around this size. Let's see, based on my failing memory. Yeah. <laughs> so inside we've got styrofoam protecting. This is a... Uh, a baby Tyrannosaurus Rex skull. So now I can say, we have a T-Rex. <laughs> Gosh, it looks a lot bigger in the picture. I mean, the dimensions were there, I'm sure. And it's, it's a resin cast, and they do, uh, I think, a pretty neat job of making it look just, uh, aged, like legit. <laughs> And I was thinking, uh, maybe I can mount it on my wall up next to my moose head that I, I got to reinflate his ears or antlers. So yeah, little tiny T-Rex skull. This was um, $5 and change, believe it or not. Marked down from some price that I wasn't willing to pay before. So there you have it. Arr, 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 arr. That's what they sounded like. Okay. <clears throat> Next, this is a bag. It's one of those like military surplus bags. Uh, I don't remember what country specifically. It's probably on the form. German olive drab toilet bag used. A used toilet bag. <laughs> Um, I basically got this because I was looking for a toiletries bag for my when I travel because I kind of don't have one and I liked how on the inside it had these like little there's like little pouches in here that you can put like your toothbrush a tube of toothpaste or whatever it's it's very plasticky I I mean judging by the photo I thought it might have been canvas or something I just didn't read the details you can see there's some fraying here um, And uh, there's no, like, way to attach it to anything. It's not like a molly thing, but this is pretty much got plenty of space for everything that I need. So I'm satisfied. Now, when they say it's used, this was used. doesn't necessarily mean it was in a war or something. It just means, like, I don't know. Maybe they issued it to somebody, or maybe it was just sitting in some warehouse before they decided, let's get rid of all these toilet bags. I don't know. All right. Anything else? Well, here's the mystery package. And I'm a little bit perplexed because I thought that I ordered. Yeah. Oh, there's more stuff in here. Huh. I'll do the mystery bag next because I have a couple of interesting things I want to get to first. What was this thing? Oh yeah, okay. This is a powerful LED illuminated loop. Magnifies it magnifies 10 times dash 25 millimeters or I guess because that's uppercase that would be mega something. <coughs> it's is basically just a jeweler's loop. And I kind of wanted it because um, it was marked down. It was like I don't know, $15 or something marked down to much less than that. It comes in a plastic case with a little slot for it to go into. and uh, That looks like a tool, probably to open the battery compartment. So these things are basically just a lens that you flip out 
and then you can use it to to look at stuff really up close and now I can um, examine my knives very closely that's why I got it I don't have a battery for it I don't even know how to turn on the light oh there's an on off switch whoa okay <laughs> pow it works I like that oh I was looking right into that thing all right and now I have one of those pretty happy so far so here's something a little different <clears throat> I got a pound of foreign currency in the form of coins. I just thought this would be a fun thing to get and look through when it comes in this neat little bank robber pouch. Pound of coins from around the world. I'm not going to go through all of these right now because that might take a while. I can recognize some of these already. I believe this is a Canadian coin. Uh, no, it's Mexican. Five pesos. From, oh, Dominican Republic. My bad. One hundred... something. That looks, uh, vaguely Asian. Oh, got another one of those. Uh... Here's something in a language that I don't understand. And... Oh, I recognize this one. This is a lira, I believe. Yeah. No, well, it's got the lira symbol, but this is two cents in euro. Five centavos from Brazil. Yeah, I got a lot of coins here. <laughs> it's a whole freaking pile. So, uh, one hundred, one hundred pesos from Colombia. Yeah, this will be fun to go to. Go to. Go through. 100 escudos from Portugal. Here's a big one. Uh, two pence. I actually have some modern, more modern uh, 2P pieces from when I visited England. Here's another big one. Uh, 25 centavos another Brazilian coin this one's heavily used this one's kind of thick thicker it's 20 bolivares from Venezuela so, commie money here's an old looking one uh, I don't recognize the language Looks Korean, maybe? Oh, boy. Oh, here's one with a hole in it. <laughs> so I believe these are Chinese. Yeah, these are all Chinese characters on this one. Um, let me find a neat one. Here's a... Uh, Yugoslavia? Uh, but I don't really, I can't really read anything else. It says, Hugoslavia, J-U-G-O-S-L-A-V-I-J-A. -A. Here's a real big, thick one, uh, compared to the others, I guess. Uh, Ma Macau. Ma Macau. One Pataka from Macau. I'm going to have a blast going through all of these, and here's a real little one. That's kind of like a decagon, or an octagon, rather. It is one peso from Chile. Some of these coins are just tiny. Like, look at this one. That's so small. What is this one? Oh, it's dirty as hell. I can't read this. Uh, I have no idea. Anyway, I have a whole pound of these. Good lord. Look how dirty these ones are. <laughs> At least I can read this one. Five cent. Uh, somewhere. 
can't read that one. So, interesting purchase. I'll clean that up later. Uh, now we'll get to the mystery bag. And, of course, I watched some other mystery bag openings, so I already know what a lot of these are. Probably all of them. <laughs> I shouldn't have watched that video. Uh, we got a Timberwolf knife. A bracelet. A cardboard box made in China. One of these. I think I know what this is. <laughs> I think that's a tin with a, a set of knives in it. And finally, a big box. Brotherhood of Blue. So this is probably a police-themed package. I already know what's in this. So we'll start with this one. So yeah, you get a set of things. Here's a blue fake SWAT knife. Open it up. And it's got writing on the blade. I already know that. Bear with me for a moment as I try to... Yeah. It says, police down there, Brotherhood of Blue, support peacekeepers. And it's like a dark navy blue, maybe even darker than navy blue. Oh, very rough. You can hear that it's closing on the liner. <laughs> that didn't even come close to locking. Wow, that is dangerous. <laughs> I wouldn't want to give that to any police. All right, and here you got a paracord bracelet. Shoestring, rather. It says, support police by giving them shoestring. Um, wonder what people would say if I just started wearing this. Like... <laughs> And we have a giant knife, which, if uh, I saw a police officer carrying this thing, I might ask, you know, what jungle are you going to? <laughs> it's a big fixed blade nylon sheath. The handle has a bunch of holes in it, so you can put, like, one, two, three, four, five, six lanyard shoestrings into it. It says police with a little, like, Star of David above it. <laughs> uh, it says Brotherhood of Blue. Guardians. Heroes. No one fights alone. Support peacekeepers. The thin blue line between good and evil. I'll save my political commentary for another video, but uh, it's made in China. I don't know. It's big. The handle is not too grippy. It's really slick. Um, I'm trying to think of what else to say about this. I mean, there's not much to say about it. It's black. <laughs> it's big and black. Like, I like my police officers. There, that's what I'll say. All right. Yeah. That's going to go in the big knife bin. Uh, I am curious about this uh, little white box. So I'm going to go straight to this one. Yeah. It's the Ridge Runner Trio. I think we got two of these on our big Thanksgiving unboxing. And I got one up here. It's just a trapper here, your standard lock back here, and a fixed blade here. Um, they're not that great. They're, they're all plastic, but made to look like some kind of horn. Um, they're shiny. I'll give them that. But 
I guess it's it, they look nice in the display. <laughs> uh, I won't go too. Sorry about that. That was really annoying. My phone rang and it interrupted the video. <clears throat> I gotta remember to go into airplane mode when I do these things. So I don't I don't know how much of that you saw, but <clears throat> it is a lion's head, a chromed out lion's head, with braided leather on the sides, and a magnetic capsule thing clasp. So now I got two bracelets for twice the power. Now do I go for the knife or the box? I already know what's in this box. I'm 99% sure, so I'm just going to go for it. Yeah, I know what this is. It is confirmed. So this is a resin um, cast skull. Yeah, kind of goes with my T-Rex head. <laughs> of Shea Guerra. <laughs> it's got that beret with the star. And I guess you can commemor commemorate Shea Guerra with his decapitated remains. Classy. The guy that I watched unbox this in his video, when he when he saw this, the rest of his video was just an expose about how much he hates liberals. <laughs> um, I was like, wow, that got political real fast. I try to stay out of the political stuff. I'm all about the merchandise. So now we go to the Timberwolf. Sadly, this is the last item, and it is wrapped in plastic and in white paper. Let's savor this moment. Huh. I did not expect that. This is, I believe, a Stockman configuration. Uh, it's got silvery bolsters, uh, wood scales, and that's some kind of a symbol there. It's probably, yeah, it's the timber wolf, the howling wolf symbol. And we got three blades on it. We got, it looks like a pen knife. Slip joints, of course. No, that's the pen knife. I guess I don't know what the other one was. Generic small blade. And then you got this bigger blade, which is pretty reminiscent of the real shitty Barlow knife that I have. Um, okay. So Buck makes a version, well, Buck, Case, Rough Rider, and everybody out there. This is a pretty standard configuration. Uh, I wonder if it says what it is. No. Well, if it's not a Stockman, then uh, I'd have to look up what this configuration is. But the way it sort of bulges in the middle, and then you got the three blades. Um, so it's a pretty old design. Just gives you lots of options, I guess. I don't know, a lot of these old-timer uh, slip joint pocket knives, they, they just they just come loaded with blades. And a lot of the older ones that I saw, like on eBay and stuff, the blades were like chipped, broken. There's like only one or two blades that left that were intact and functional. And I figure maybe it's because steel was just crappy back then. Um, and you didn't really need a huge blade to do a lot of cutting tasks. So maybe people preferred getting knives that had a lot of blades on it just so that when one broke you had a couple of more right there i could be completely wrong about that but that's my theory anyway i'm gonna spend the next hour or so looking through all these coins um there's just tons of these things wow well that was a fun purchase and my little shake wear a skull I have no idea what I'm going to do with this. <laughs> I don't really want it. Uh, yeah. I guess I'll hold on to it for a while. But I do like my T-Rex skull. This thing is pretty neat. And it's heavy. It's, it's heavier than this thing. Um, so it's like a dense resin. And I'm a big fan of dinosaurs since I was a kid. I like Jurassic Park movies and blah, blah, blah. 
So, yeah, this is really neat. My jeweler's loop, I'm gonna get a lot of use out of that. But more importantly, my lion head. Oh yeah, and the mountain man knife. That was one of my highlights too. But the biggest surprise for me, I guess, was um, this little knife. Because the, the person that I saw open their package, they got something, pretty much all the same stuff, but this was different. They got some other knife and it looked like crap. This one actually looks pretty good. Okay, well, that was my unboxing video and I, I feel kind of disappointed now. It's one of those things where like I was really looking forward to this for a long time and then the, the, there was a buildup of tension because of the shipping issue. And then I got home and I saw the package on my doorstep and I knew it was going to be there because I checked to see if it got delivered like eight times throughout the day. <laughs> and now it's over. So until next time, this has been JJ Jinx Truck Stop Knives. I just wanted to show this coin real quick. It kind of stood out for me because it was really, really small. Probably the smallest one. And really dirty. And uh, there's my nail. You can see how tiny it is. And uh, I looked at the date. And I had to get my jeweler's loop out. And yeah, that's from 1892. And I have no idea what country it's from. One penny, spelled P-N-N-I, 1892. And then, I'm not really sure what I'm looking at here. It looks like it could be some kind of horned animal with the Roman numeral three at the top. So, if anybody has any idea what this could be, drop a note in the comments for me. I'm pretty interested. JJ Jinx, Truck Stop Coins!